I ain't gonna lie, I almost didn't spark. <laughs> Do y'all like this new, this little new camera setup I'm doing? I'm, I'm testing around the little, like some of my own, like little settings on it. Does it look a little different? I could throw the wide angle back on, but I feel like it's making me look a little like. You feel me? Should I put the wide, y'all want the wide angle back on? They saying it's tough. They saying it's 4K as f Do y'all like this rough look I got going on right now? Or do I look f up? Be honest. As y'all can see, your boy hasn't had a haircut in like, I don't even know. Yeah, I saying I'm chopped. Just chill. I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow. I need a retwist, but I think I'm gonna wait till Thanksgiving. What y'all thinking? The mustache overgrowing? I need a retwist, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Holy. Yeah, my growing fast as hell. Just chill. Y'all saying with locks know exactly that my shit is just growing. What is my shit not supposed to grow like that? And then when I get a retwist, niggas gonna be fucking sucking the skin on my dick, talking about something. Oh, bro, it looks good, bro, it's good. First time I got a retwist, my shit didn't even come off my head. The second time I got a retwist, five weeks later, my shit was right here on my forehead. This time it's been eight weeks. My shit might be down here, and the niggas gonna be glazed and talking about something. Bro, 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 I knew your locks would be tough, bro. I ain't gonna get off my dick. When I get my retwist, my shit growing fast as fuck. And my first retwist, my shit was already on my forehead. Now I'm gonna get the second retwist. Boy, my shit about to be all the way down here. Get off my dick, too. Do you like Arab women? Nah, I do. I like Arab women just that sometimes... Nah, I like Arab women. It's just that... Wait, Arab... Arab is Middle Eastern, right? That's Middle Eastern, right? Yes. Nah, Middle Eastern women is cool. It's just that I ain't know them don't wear deodorant. Don't and, like that. No, I'm just saying. No. And one thing I realized about Middle Eastern is that they family is like very like food dominant. Like when you go over they they they, they, they people's house, and if you don't eat five plates of food from a Middle Eastern person that's cooking you food, they basically think you calling them a slur. I never realized that because when you would go over a Middle Eastern person house and they'll meet you and shit like, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying they'll keep handing you plates of food and shit, and you're like, all right, man, you just gave me watermelon. First of all. I don't even know why you offer me one, man. It feels kind of racist. Then after that, they keep handing you place and place and place and place of food. That's how Middle Eastern work. And if you did this, if you like say, nah, I'm good, then they gonna get mad at you and shit. You feel me? But nah, Middle Eastern people, Middle Eastern women are cool. I've only been with, uh, I've only been like around two in my life. What? Maybe two in your life. I've only been around two Middle Eastern women. Like, I've only been around them. Bro, you going for clips. You got to stop going for clips. But nah, I do like Arab women. It's cool. Wait, can you uh, say uh, some Arab in, in the another language? Oh, wait, look. Look at me. Mahaba. Mahaba. Um, Mahabibi. <laughs> what? Wait, how do you say I love you in Arab? Anna Bahabak. What did you say? Say it one more time. 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 No, I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Do it again. Wait, one more time. Anna. 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 Bahab. Bahab. Anna Habaka back. Wait. No, Anna Habak back. Anna. Anna. Ba. Ba. Hep. Hep. Ek. 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 And a ba And a back. And a back. Now I like Arab women. I like I like people that have a different type of cultural background. As long as you got some type of black in you, a little bit of brown, ain't no problem with me. Ain't no thing but the chicken wing gonna shrink. You feel me? So if you got a little bit of black in you, you know what I'm saying? Cause people been asking why auntie be saying the N-word and shit. I remember one time she said the N-word in the clip. And a girl was in the comments, she was like, I'm hearing a whole bunch of nigga, but I don't see a whole bunch of nigga. And I had to sit right there and let people know, yo, auntie is black. I would never have another person of a different race inside of my, uh, in the video around me saying the N-word if they were not black. I hope y'all know. It was a long time ago. I don't remember where the clip was at. It's a long time ago. I don't got to save. I didn't screenshot it or nothing. So don't ask me. If you need to sell your ball sack to pay for a loved one's surgery, 
Would you? Let me time you out. You too deep into the game, gang. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga think about me selling my ball sack. What would be the point of me selling my ball sack? If I sold my ball sack right now, it's like, all right, we're gonna cut T-Bank's ball sack off and give it to a person. What would they do with my ball sack? Would they screw it onto another nigga body? Would they stitch it on? Would they put it in the museum? What the f am I selling my ball sack for, my nigga? Go and take a week. My five take it back. You ain't gotta take a week. That's a little harsh. But you would take a day. Nigga said I would sell my ball sack for the sell for a loved one surgery. There's two things in life I don't play about. My dick and my boss and my money. That's three. There's three things in my life I don't play about. Don't play around with my dick. Don't play around with my boss. And I don't play around with my money. So that's a couple of things that's off limits. Don't ever try to play with my boss. Don't ever try to cut them off. Don't ever punch them. Don't ever kick them. Don't ever bite them. Don't ever do anything crazy. Don't twist them. Don't play like that because that is crazy work. I don't play about my boss and I don't play about my money. I don't play about my dick. I don't want no type of bumps on my balls. I don't want no fluid coming out my balls. I don't want nothing bad happening to my balls. Your butt is free work though. Moss, time him out. Thoughts on the game is game nigga is actually being alive. You know what's crazy? I seen the clip of that game is game nigga alive. And I heard that nigga was smoking fit. <laughs> I heard that nigga was on YouTube smoking fit. I swear I was on yo. I was on Twitter. I'm scrolling. The game is game nigga popped up on my shit. He's smoking fit. Then he took an Adderall and downed it with alcohol, with like Henny or some shit. Then I heard he was saying some crazy shit, some, some EDP shit, talk about some he'll do something to somebody's unborn daughter or some shit. This shit came back from the dead on some crazy shit. Is he, is he banned on Twitch? Yeah, he was talking crazy on Twitter. Is he banned on Twitch? He been banned? This nigga on YouTube now talking crazy. They compare me to the gamers game guy? Hey, don't compare me to that shit. I don't do I don't do I don't do Adderall. I don't do no hoss. I don't even take hoss. Don't, don't compare me to that. Don't even say I'm, I'm reborn. No, he his own person. Game is game. Life is cause. And T-Banks are two different people. I don't even like be comparing people comparing me to, two, to another nigga name anyway. T-Banks is T-Banks. I'm not nobody else. I don't want to be nobody else. I ain't never trying to be nobody else. I'm my self. I ain't never did no I ain't never down no pills with alcohol. I ain't never did nothing like that. You feel me? So I don't know. But I heard that is a lie. This nigga came back. Out of everywhere, you could have did that shit on kick if you wanted to. But you're going to do it on YouTube. And who even, who even, one thing that's crazy to me is that's a crazy ass drug to do in life. Who the f started smoking? F like, who was the first f that was like, let me get some? F <laughs> Where do you even get that f from? Nah, think about it. You got every other drug on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Weed, whatever. Who the f is getting f Do you think running a train on your man's girlfriend is wrong? Oh no, yeah. Take a day, man. He asked me, does is running the train on your girl on your man's girlfriend? Is it wrong? You went too deep. Yo, um, do you ever just have to know where think to yourself how all this don't feel like your life went, yo, you was big? What the are you, can you, yo, I'm about to end my stream. Yeah, this is a W secret little stream. He said, Yunk, do you ever just out of nowhere think to yourself how all this don't feel real? Like how your life went? You've been such a big streaming influence on next generation. Does it sometimes not even feel real for you? Is this Tupac? Oh my God, I knew I shouldn't have sparked this late shit. These are stupid. These new generation is stupid. Um, I ain't gonna lie. The reason why I want to stop smoking too is that, which I haven't smoked in... When was the last time I smoked? Tippy. When was the last time I smoked? Yes, sir. You're weird. I did not smoke yesterday. Did you? I didn't. Listen, the reason why I want to stop smoking, right? And I'm not a junk. Yeah, I know this. But I do want to stop smoking. It's because when I smoke, sometimes I be on the bed and life really don't feel real. Like that derealization do be hitting me. Like I be like in my skin like, oh my God, I'm really T-Banks. And I started thinking about my TikTok journey and how I blew up by just yapping about being funny. And I started looking at my skin like this. I start, I start touching this shit. And then and she start touching me. I'm like, hold on, man, please stop touching me and shit. I'm like, yeah, I don't like, I don't, when I, when I, when in my brain start getting up like that. And like one thing that people don't talk about when it comes to gas and shit like that is how, and I've talked about this multiple times, how deep it gets in your brain. Like, be like, nah, bro, I, bl I blaze all the time. That's, I'm good. This is why you won't be in life. Like, I really be feeling like, oh my God, look at my arms, look at my hands. Your T Banks, look at your apartment, look at your car. And it'd be really uh, like affecting me in a bad way because it'd be like, what are you going to do? Like, pass the yapping about 
this shit. Are you going to get Barack Obama on the stream? Are you going to be the number one streamer of all time? And I start looking at and shit starts turning different colors. Like, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? And it's like, it really happens after the first, like, after the first little real realization that you high and your body gets tingly and shit. You know what I'm saying? You bust a great nut. you like, oh. And then after that, after about 30 minutes of being high is when all them negative thoughts start hitting my brain. And I'm now starting to think, what if I'm schizophrenic? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm serious. What if I got schizophrenia? I'm gonna ask. I might be up. Because I start hearing different, like, it, it'd be voices in my ears. And I, sometimes I'll hear a random boom and shit. I start hearing noises and shit. And I realize it's like my apartment, but it's making me feel scary. Nigga saying go to a doctor. <laughs> nah, listen. I'm saying this is what gas does to people and I realized something people smoke more and more to escape that feeling like people are addicted to the first 10 to 25 minutes of getting high and once your tolerance builds and builds and builds and builds that's why people can smoke 1J, 2J, 3J have whole sessions and shit so it's like when I smoke because I have a lower tolerance and shit like that right I'm on the bed and I start thinking to myself like oh I'm T-Banks and I'm really a streamer and look, literally, you about to hit a million, a million followers. Like, as a kid, you said you wanted to do this. And it starts making me feel like uncomfortable. And it starts making me feel like, what are you going to do to maintain this? It's all, it's all the negative thoughts at one time. And I realized that. That weed is. No, that ass. Like, you smoke stizzy, that shit too strong. Smoking a stizzy is too strong. And if you smoke something too weak, then it's like, oh man, my head hurt. You smoke something too strong, you start thinking you're tweaking out, getting anxiety and shit. You start having to manually breathe and shit, control yourself down but like well I know I'm high so let me calm down and then you say you can't find something in between then you take an edible next to you then you see lava coming out the walls and shit cause edibles hit you different so it's like there's no in between when it comes to weed so anybody that's out there like I'm good I smoke every day and I'm good ask that nigga in the last three years what he's done with his life I guarantee you be like I worked at this job exactly you haven't done nothing productive to make yourself a better person ask any person that be in the comments like Oh, I smoke every day. He just don't know how to handle the weed. I'm good. All right, watch this. What accomplishments have you made in the last five years? Watch this. Can't say nothing. I guarantee you. Ask him the last accomplishment he did in five years. He'll be like, so ain't got nothing to do with me smoking weed, though. Everybody that smoked too much weed always be like, the economy fucked up right now. That's why I ain't doing nothing in my life. But I'm waiting for this play to hit. It's not going to hit. You're not going to parlay. You know what I'm saying? Like, simple. If you working, if you getting money from a job to smoke more, you need help. Think about it. If your job is only to fund your junky ass lifestyle, you need help. And I don't care. You can fight me about it. Like dead ass. Like them be smoking. Like I, I have no problem with you doing. One thing about me, I don't promote drug use. Of course, 100% I don't. But if you do something and if you can help it, keep it in, in moderation, cool. But I don't like I'm, I'm only the addiction I got is sugar and I can knock anything else. But at the same time, bro, like you got to be careful when it comes to certain shit though. Like like, people be like, like, when baby like, weed is safe and all this, it's, it's not, bro. Anything can really grab a hold of you. I be trying to tell y'all, anything can grab a hold of you. I know people that have to smoke to take a shower. A, a nigga just wash your body. You feel me? So it's like, that's why I want to stay away because I start smoking them stizzies and I start realizing, damn, my nipples feel way more sensitive. Like, this shit got me about to bust a nut. Like, I start thinking to myself, like, this shit feel really good. But then right after I bust that nut, no matter what hole I bust it in, I start thinking to myself, why do I want to keep being high now? Like, I don't, I ain't gonna lie. Any times I've ever smoked in my life has only been for that. I've never smoked just to sit right there and watch a movie. I never smoked to sit right there and, and, and play a game. I've never, I've never done that. Any time I've ever smoked in my life, I really got some glurbs afterwards or some butt. And I start realizing, okay, once my accomplishment, once my objective is done, and I done bust my nut, what, what's next? And I watch a movie and laugh and shit, but I'm really thinking to myself like, yo, y'all niggas is gay. When I say any whole, yo, I, oh my God, my lives got restricted. Oh, wait, and you know what's crazy? And I, y'all yeah, I, yeah, I know I really don't address shit for real. But I'm looking on, on my YouTube, right? Now, mind y'all, this is why you can't address shit. Y'all see me, right? I've been in the gym. I've been losing weight. A nick? Nah, nah. Let me not even address. A nick on YouTube try saying my build is crazy because I'm six foot and I'm a little overweight for my size. And then you know what the crazy thing is? The nigga in the YouTube comments like, uh, 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 my build isn't that much better, but he's talking about he can run a 60 with Michael Myers and, and, and Jason's Voorhees. It's called comedy. Do them really exist? He said he said he can run a 60 with 
Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers, though. And now look at his body. All right, well, Jason Voorhees, come on in here, this, because you exist in the real world. Why? Do, yo, do, do niggas not really be in too deep? No, I'm dead ass. Do niggas not be in too deep? Like, he in too deep. The niggas don't even exist in real life. He was like, he be talking hot shit, say he run a shit, he Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees and that he can beat Chucky up. You in too deep, bro. It's literally, it's literally just a clip. You in too deep. And I ain't gonna lie. Me at my heaviest right now with this average bill would beat the out to and slam you on your hand in GTRP. I hope you know that. I'm 23. I'm 6 foot 208 pounds. I don't think y'all understand how big I actually am. I'm not a... Sydney, I ain't gonna lie. Am I not a big ass person really? Re 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 realistically. Not big ass, like 6'3", 250. But am I not bigger than the average man? Six foot, 208 pounds? Yeah. I think a big ass is like... It's like you. I was gonna say like The Rock or something. How big is The Rock? I don't know. I slammed that too. I think he like 6'5". I think The Rock like 6'3", 6 6'5", 6 like 250. But I'm I'm six foot two hundred and, and uh, two hundred pounds. Like I don't think y'all understand. Do I got a little bit of a little a little tub tub? Not really. Like it's there. I used to have abs. I got a little tub tub. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, my arms is my biggest. Like I don't understand how really big, nigga. I, man, come on, man. If I really was to pick one of you niggas up, I I would move you like that with ease. I hope you don't. I, I got a little. You know what I'm saying? Like we working on it though. We working on it. You feel me? But for the most part, my arms though can't. And then you never realize they never say I was skinny. Niggas can't ever say like, oh, he ain't got no muscle though. You feel me? But why is there so many ads? Nigga, you need to sub up. It's only million dollars to uh, beat up like a, a rock. Would you do it? Pay me ten million dollars to beat the rock up? Yeah. Would I do it? Or like that's Shit, ten million dollars, I'd do anything. I would get killed by who? The Rock? By like a sumo wrestler. By a sumo wrestler? Uh, I don't think so. Cause you said beat him up or fight him. You ain't never say how I had to fight him. I'm not gonna grab that big. If it's a sumo wrestler, you never said how how I had to fight him. You just said beat him. So <laughs> I ain't gonna sit right there and grab that nigga in my underwear, big ass man. That's a big belly boy. Would you, yo, uh, would you prefer a girlfriend that's a good girl and a V but don't treat you that well, or a thought box everybody has had that treats you amazing? This is stupid. Why would I want if I have if I have sex, right? If I'm a person that has sex, why would I want to be with somebody that doesn't have sex? That has nothing to do with me. Okay, if you don't have sex, cool. But if I don't, if I have sex and if I like my me suck, why would I have a girlfriend that? doesn't want to have oh my preference is to have sex so i find somebody that wants to have sex and then one thing he realized he said a thought box that treats everyone amazing you do realize most hoes are good people like hoes like sexy reds most hoes are good people i hope y'all know that like they're really good people like good people as in they're cool as hell to hang around like you can daft them up and be homeboys and homegirls with them i didn't say good person people as in this is a good wife but most Thigh bots, thought boxes, hoes, whatever you want to call them, are good people. As in, you ever been around a hoe, got to a meat slurb, and then you realize, you look next to the bitch, and she watching NBA highlights with you and shit, and she know the player's name. She might have fucked about eight of them, but she know the player names. She starts saying, oh, Kyle Kuzma, you got to hit that drop down pin, that pin down screen right there. She's talking about two, three zones and shit like that. Talking about when beyond is going to be one of the best players of all time. You start looking around like, hold on, bitch. how do you know this information? I'm trying to tell y'all, hoes be... Good ass people, as in they just hoes. People look at hoes as bad people. They're not bad people. I hope y'all know that. They're not bad people. They're just a hoe. Like, that's not a bad person. They just like to get f really, you really think about it. And then it hurts because, like, you so in tune, you're like, damn, like, you actually cool as hell. And then them negative thoughts start in the back of your mind, like, wait, what if I, what if I did wipe her? I can change her. And then when you start thinking about all the nuts that was bust on her face and all type of shit like that, you start thinking to yourself, I'm smoking. <laughs> when you really think about it, you be like, damn, you a cool ass person. Like, I wouldn't mind wifing you. Like, I want to get you out this bad situation. All these are using you and shit, and I could be the one to change you. And then she leaves and it really snaps your mind. You was like, damn, I was hitting the pipe. I'm doing little as soon as she leaves. Once that post snap clarity really clear up and your mind go back, you like, hold on. I see why 
is doing this. Baby, you just slurred my meat for six hours straight, and the only thing that you requested was a 10-piece McNugget meal from McDonald's. You didn't ask me to take you out on a date. You don't care about being posted. You don't care about anything else that we do. You just, you, you are a good person. You just a hoe. Y'all have to understand something. Hoes are not bad people. I'm trying to tell y'all. People make it seem like, oh my God, she's a hoe. She's a hoe. Doesn't mean she's a bad person. She just likes to get fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like, really think about it. That's literally it. She just likes to get fucked. Them people, most hoes didn't kill nobody. They haven't blown up a hospital. They haven't done nothing crazy. They're just hoes. And everyone's trying to make it seem like this is the worst person on earth. I guarantee you, there's people, there's human beings that have done way more worse than get eight nuts busting their face in one room. I guarantee you. Now, I wouldn't say, hey, don't, 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 don't cover your up. You got to cover the Jimmy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to cover the Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how often you need to be covering the Jimmy, but I like to cover my Jimmy. I ever covered the Jimmy with you? Cover the Jimmy? Wrap up? Rubbers? Condoms? Shut the f up. Anyways, I don't use. Them. Do you think dry humping is underrated or overrated? Actually, underrated as. <laughs> hey, I like dry humping. That's it. All the here that don't get bitches gonna be like, bro, what, bro, what, bro, what? Shit, nigga, I, I don't mind the cool little dry humping situation. A little, you know what I'm a little situation. This shit. But you can't hold on. But let me explain something though. When you, if you dry hump, it can't be some boo, boo, boo. If you dry humping it, you will have to be like, let me show you, let me show you the methods, right? You got the one. Let's say you got some basketball shorts on, right? Tank top. You over top. Let's say you saw y'all both laying down. You on top of her. It's more so like you kissing. You kissing, right? It's more so like a boom. You more so just just teasing the meat. On the entry point, more like a boom, like the, the hip, the hip movement. He'd be like, it's not a boom, it's a boom, boom, boom. You gotta grind that shit on. It's like a boom, boom, boom. Or right, let's say you cuddling. You know what I'm saying? You got her turn around. She's laying that way. You behind her. You know what I'm saying? Meet on the butt. Grab her, grab her face. Bring her around. Give her a little smooch. I can't use boom because boom is a little too aggressive. So it's more like a You feel me? Yo, time out the niggas talking crazy. But dry humping is definitely underrated. And I feel like it's one of those things that can really spice up the room or spice up whatever y'all about to do. Real Y'all have to understand something, right? Preheating the oven is the essential way to get your girl to be as dirty and freaky as possible. You gotta do shit that's gonna get in her head and make her get really in the mood. You feel me? You can't look at your woman as one of those Tesla sex robots. I mean, I wish they would come out with them. I'm trying to put a deposit down. But you can't look at your girl as like a, oh, just suck my meat and go to sleep type thing. Women, they need some mental stimulation to, you know what I'm saying, to really get into the mood. So it's like, you got to kiss on her, you know what I'm saying? Like, treat her like a real human being. And I, I do want one of those robots. When is, when is Elon Musk coming out with the Suckatron Robot 3000? I want to put a deposit down. I don't care. You feel me? But... No, nah, I think dry humping is definitely underrated. I think anything with clothes on is underrated. Like people, when you first think of sex or you first think of something going on with a girl, you think just naked, booty butt naked, flapping legs in the air, making the room smell and stink and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying? And, and sweat all in my ass. Like, nah, that's not what sex is. Sex starts before y'all even reach the front door. Like you don't even realize it, right? Women can take their shoes off, rub her feet on your leg in the restaurant. You could hold her hand walking to the car. You can kiss her nasty when you get to the car. Sex in the, it started before you even get to the front door of your house. I'm trying to put on game. I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm trying to help niggas out. Don't want to listen. Then y'all wonder why y'all don't get no pussy. Y'all don't have game. I'm trying to tell y'all. Don't let that little clip of me in the kitchen when I was like, you need to listen to daddy. Whatever daddy says goes. I was trolling. There's a reason why this be a boom, 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 boom. Every night. There's literally a reason why literally every night, boom, You like dry humping? You like dry humping? You like that shit? Stop. Nah, I'm being answering your question. Nah, answer the question. You like that shit? You like that shit? Answer the question. You like that shit? Sleeping the You like that shit? Are you? Nigga, I'm so hard. You ate that shit? 
Oh my God, bro. She gets so annoying. How many did you eat? How many did you eat? Stop. No, I want to know. Stop. How many did you eat? How many did you eat? Like half. Half of one or one and a half? Get out of my room. Oh, for real? Get out. I can't hate, I hate bitches. <laughs> Yo, you know how people be saying they hear voices in their head fighting demons and shit? Have you ever had that experience? You know what's worse? Yo, this might be some real shit. They gonna be like, T-Bank, you good? It's scarier when your head is quiet. I would rather hear all the negative thoughts. I would rather hear all the good voices. I would rather hear everything going on because I can handle it and I know which what to pick and how to fix it. But have you ever been, one of the scariest things is living alone. And you ever realize you living alone, you might not speak for 12 hours. And you realize I haven't even thought to myself. I haven't even thought about anything bad or good. I've been in this quiet. I don't speak to somebody until the next day I go to work. And I feel like that's even scarier because you don't know who the you are until you are truly alone. I'm the ass. I, I, I hear I hear in my head all the time. Damn, you got to do this stream. Damn, you got to keep this up. Damn, you got to maintain 3K stuff. Like, like that is normal. But if you ever really sit right there and be like, damn, it's quiet as hell. I don't know what the, like, it's just like I have nobody to speak to. You don't know who you truly are until you have nobody. Until you don't have, literally before, I, when I started streaming last year, I didn't have no friends. I didn't talk to nobody every day. I didn't go out the house. I moved, I, I, I got that apartment. In June of 2023, I didn't leave my house for anything entertainment-wise until December. What's that? September, October, November, December? Even before then, I didn't go nowhere. So that almost that entire year, I, I never left the house. I had maybe two Uber trips from that apartment. One was to get my hair done, and one was to go like to, to like a store or something. Other than that, I just stayed in my house every single day. And it was like, damn, bro, that's crazy. That's sometimes what you need to do. I'm trying to tell you, that's sometimes what you need to do. You have to be in a situation like that, in an uncomfortable situation to make yourself comfortable. Sometimes you got to do shit you don't want to do when you don't want to do it to do shit that you do want to do when you do want to do it. And I, I was literally just in the house, just doing nothing but just trying to make streaming work, editing clips, and just trying to do something crazy. That's it. So I, it's scary when you don't have some in your head, like voices and shit. I can fight demons. I can be in my head like, ah, I got to be the best streamer. Ah, like... But really think about, like, for me, like, the reason why I don't go out the house and shit is that you don't, like, people don't, one thing that pisses me off when people don't realize is that for you to be be the best in something, you have to be obsessed. Like, my dream I'm doing right now, people literally thought it wouldn't happen. And I had to fall out with friends because I became obsessed with this shit. When y'all hear people talk bad about me, or you somebody say, oh, he do this, he's crazy, or he get mad at this, or he, it's because I'm so in tune in what I want to do and the things I want to accomplish is that if you can't play that way around me, you can't be around me. Like, I don't think I can have certain amount of friends around me no more because I don't have the same mindset. Y'all heard what Michael Jordan said in the motherfucking documentary, if you don't want to play that way, don't play that way. Let me, let me drop a tear. Break. Y'all remember that, right? And I'm not saying I'm Michael Jordan, but that's the way I take this shit, Is that like, literally, if you don't have the obsessed mindset, then you can't be around me. If you don't get mad because I'm not on my point, like I would be mad at you, you can't be around me. If you don't hold me to the same standards that I hold you to, you can't be around me. I'm literally obsessed and doing this shit because I know I'm blessed. I'm in the position that anybody else can take my spot and you are not gonna outwork me and you are not gonna take my spot. Matter of fact, you had six months to, you feel me? You had six months to take my spot. Now, now you're not taking it back. Now you're not taking it now. If you didn't use that opportunity to take it, then you not definitely ain't taking it now. You ought to kill me. You feel what I'm saying? So when niggas be like, oh, why you do this? Why you get mad? That's why. It's because I am obsessed and I want to be the best in what the fuck I do. You feel me? So you had six months to take my spot. I was gone for six motherfucking months. You ain't used that to your advantage because I was in there taking your view or whatever I was doing, going crazy. And now I'm back doing the same thing. You had that six months. Months. So, hey, that's not my fault. Don't get mad at me. I stayed down. I stayed the course, and I'm just doing what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Get off my dick. You feel me? I be fighting demons. I be in my head like, ah, get a Hellcat. Ah, I want a Lamborghini. Like I be having demons. Like I want to buy an SVJ. Y'all don't understand. When I seen Hellcats, I said, okay. When I see GT500, when I seen cars, I was like, out of my price range. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do that. But now I see SVJs, and I be like, ah. I'll be in my head like, bro, I want a mansion. Like, how do these have it and I don't? You feel me? So, yeah, I'll be having voices in my head. I'll be going crazy. Like, this this got 10 million in his checking. Why don't I? I want to be the first YouTuber to make a billion dollars off YouTube. And I don't care. 
my voices in my head is, I don't give a f if there was a billion, if it was, if every person on this earth walked in my front door and said, T Banks, you're not gonna make it. T Banks this, T Banks that. I don't give a f how many niggas outside that door. I'm always gonna take the one over eight billion. So when that nigga was talking about some unk bill is, is, is low key crazy, I'll beat your motherfucking ass. Cause I don't give a f I'm taking me over anybody. Real s. I'm taking me over anybody on this earth. I don't care how many people doubting me or say this, that you can't do this. I ain't already heard it. Literally, there can be 8 billion telling me you can't do it. And then I guarantee you that would do nothing but push me to do it. You ass, you feel me? So. Type shit. Is it embarrassing if your girl loses a fight? Oh, goddamn right. <laughs> We gotta start holding women to the same standards that they will hold us to, right? If you lose a fight as a woman, that's a skill issue. If you lose a fight as a man, he was just a better man that day, and you might be better than him, but he hit you with a good shot. Because y'all gotta understand something. Name 10 times you've ever seen a woman get knocked out in a fight. Exactly. You had to think about it, you like, well, it was that one, that's the only bit. Exactly. Name 10 times you seen a nigga get knocked out in a fight. Every time. That's because of how strong we are and we know actually how to throw blows. So if I could be the best boxer in the world, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd can get knocked the f out. Mike Tyson got knocked out. He was the most dangerous man on the earth. So if a loses a fight, if you don't get your mother ass whoop, I'm talking about like straight boom, 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 you just got hit with a good sh and you lost, hey, shout out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, John Witherspoon, you lost, but you lived to fight another day. If you lose a fight as a woman, all y'all do is grab hair and y'all throw the worst punches ever. How are you losing that? If you a girl, push your mother back up, dip your mother chin, put your hands up like a man, put your mother do up, I guarantee you'll knock out every I guarantee you. Really think about it. If a girl really dipped her motherfucking chin, threw her deuce up like this, and was just boom, 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 every bitch that ever tried to fight her, she would be 300 and 0. Literally think about it. So if your girl loses a fight, that's a skill issue. Because the ain't gonna try to do nothing but grab your hair, have her head down, and throw these wild punches. Boom, boom, boom. That's a three-piece uppercut. You just won the fight. And then let me take you home. Let me suck your toes. Let me eat your ass. And I take you to motherfucking Eddie V's every day of the week. Matter of fact, you hit her so hard, I felt it. So, if my girl... What, man? What the fuck are you doing? Yes. Don't say now when I'm going for clips. I don't like that shit. You know I don't like that shit. Why are you acting like an animal, Yeah, because I am a dog. I want the bone. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Because I'm a dog. Give me a chicken wing. You need to get on Give me some chicken wing. Give me a chicken wing. No, anyways, like I was saying, if she lost the fight, I would be judging the fuck out of her. A hundred percent. Because I taught her how to fight. I literally taught her how to fight. So if I seen her get knocked the fuck out, I would be disappointed. fucking point Because women will be disappointed in the... I'm trying to tell y'all, right? If you, if you were the girl, she looks at you as Superman. Literally, she looks at you like you're Superman. Your girlfriend... She might doubt you, but 99% of the time, if anything goes on with a nigga, your girl's gonna bet on you no matter how tall he is, no matter how short he is, no matter how stocky, bulky, muscular, no matter what he got going on, your girl is still going to bank on you winning that. So we gotta hold women to the same standards. And I ain't gonna lie, if I see my girl getting into a fight, I'm gonna be standing there just like this. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you, I see you getting knocked out, I'm gonna get mad at you. If I see you go, if a bitch go boom, 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 and your legs doing this, this, you doing the soccer Zulu and shit, I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna say, bitch, throw your motherfucking hands up. Show the roll, show the roll. Remember what I taught you? Black and left, there you go, dip, move, woo, woo. Bobby leave, because there's no motherfucking way as a woman your knees should be buckling. If a nigga hit me, boom, I might buckle because this is a grown ass man. This bitch has no strength. So, yes, it's embarrassing if your girl loses a fight. And it's even more embarrassing. When your girl has so much energy for you in the house, but yet when there's a bitch outside, now you want to duck your motherfucking tail. Now you want to duck your motherfucking taco and shit. When your girl be beating on you and shit, hitting you in the head, stabbing you up, but now there's a bitch out here and shit that want to fight you and shit, and now you ducking the motherfucking work, because you easy work. So goddamn right. It's embarrassing if your girl lose a fight. Because bitch, I taught you better than that bitch. Don't you be out here embarrassing me, and I ain't doing no fighting. I'm 23, I'm a grown man. 
I have a career. I have a Hellcat. I got a home to get back to. Wish a nigga would try to fight me. Move! I ain't got this motherfucking concealed carry license for no reason. Move! 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 I ain't bought it for, well, what the fuck I bought a 10 milli for if I ain't gonna use it? I ain't buying for a grizzly bear. I live in Los Angeles. There's no grizzly bears out here. You talking about nigga, you crazy. Nigga, you crazy. Move! Fuck I bought a 10 milli for if I ain't gonna use it. Damn, my head is itching, nigga. I need a rich one. If me and auntie did a co-ed boxing segment to where we was boxing each other, do y'all think I would get canceled for that? 3,200 subs. We got to get 31 first. Co-ed boxing. I'll do rules. She can throw any punch possible. Good evening, UNCI lover videos. Been watching since 2023 and finally unbanned from your Discord. What'd you get banned for, nigga? She can throw any any punch possible. That's five. Five pieces of McNugget meal. Appreciate you, D4. She could throw any punch possible. The only thing I could throw is a jab. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, for the first three rounds, I can't throw any punches. We're gonna go four rounds. We're gonna have a, a rough. For the first three rounds, I can't throw no punches. All dodger. The last round is when I can throw punches. Fuck no. For the first three rounds, we both got on headgear. You got on gloves. You throw punches at me. I dodge every one. And by that last round, that's when I knock your ass out. You down? Would you do a co-ed boxing segment with me? Like me and you box each other? If I paid you in debt? I'm playing. If I gave you a couple like like $20 or some shit, would you do it? You're, you would do it. $20? How much you need to do it? Fuck, I'm not getting fucking beat up for $20. Nah, I can't beat you up. You get two or three rounds to throw punches at me and I can't throw them back. I just have to dodge everything. And then one round, I get to, I get to like just throw jabs, like light punches at you and we'll see who wins. How many punches you connected on me? Would you do it? I don't know why you're doing that side eye shit when you don't have shit else to do. Literally, you don't have throw it. I don't throw it. I ain't gonna move. I'm gonna let it hit me right in my nose. Maybe start bleeding on stream so people can see how abusive you are. Throw it. That's another wooden brush you're gonna throw in your hand right there. Yep, guys. Let me turn the camera. Let me, exactly. You wanna throw another wooden brush? Throw it. Now, anyways, like I was saying, would y'all not fuck with that? I think we should do it. Only if I get pink gloves. Oh yeah, sure. But pink gloves and, ain't gonna. Um, are we gonna wear a helmet? Yeah, we we'll wear headgear. I wanna wear pink. Isn't that like UFC? Yeah, I don't know. Pink don't stop you from getting knocked the fuck out. So no matter what color you got, cause they gonna wait, we'll make your ass up and ask you, do you know who the president is? So, I mean, shit. It don't matter what color you got. You might not be able to see colors when you wake up, nigga. So. Shit. I'm saying I'm not supporting you. I give a fuck. Knock your ass out. And I won't get canceled because it's a sport. When was the first time you actually felt like you were in love? Um, great question. Some days I don't really feel like I'm in love anymore. Some days I'm kind of like, you I'm know, too hot for this right now. some days I'd be like, damn, I really am in love. Like, you know, like this is, but here's the thing. She forced me to be in love. And y'all don't realize how crazy women are really smarter than us, gang. And you probably like what you mean. They don't really have to gaslight or manipulate you to get you infatuated with them. Like they they know how to play the game smart. They force us to fall in love and they force us to be a different man than who we were. And you probably like what you mean. She was never really supposed to live here, bro. One day we got, you know what I'm saying? We got a little, little, little gas, little tree. We, we, we chopped some trees. I ain't gonna say what happened in between after that. But just know my back of my leg was spasming. I'm like, holy fuck. I'm drinking some orange juice. I look at her and I say, nigga, you about to move in with me. And she really took it serious. One day I go to pick her up to bring her to a new place. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. I come, she comes outside. She has four fucking bags of luggage. We had never wrote no contract. We had never said we're actually moving in or nothing. And then I'm looking at her. I'm like, what the fuck are all these bags for, man? She said, what you mean? I thought we were about to, you know what I'm saying? Move. I thought we were about to... I'm like, just get in the car, sure. And I realized myself, I did say it, but she really took it and ran with it. And this nigga hasn't left since. Like, women know how to do the method to, for us to be infatuated with them. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but a lot of times, as men, if we could have nobody in our place, you could just come over without moving with us, we would choose that 100% of the time. Nine times out of ten, we don't really want women living with us. And that's not crazy to say. We really don't. Is that not crazy? They women know how to trap us, bro. Especially when it comes to, you know what I'm saying? You ever had a woman whisper in your ear and say, nigga, splurging me like a fucking jelly filled donut? Fill me up like a twin. You ever heard them, them, a bitch say some crazy shit like that? 
calling you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like really, like, I'm trying to tell y'all. Women know how to play the game. Me and my fiance got our own places. Nigga, hey, I'm, hey, gang, you living the life. Because sometimes I'd be like, well, God damn. What if I want to watch some NBA highlights? What if I want to be on the game at 3 p? What if I don't want to sit right there and order two fucking people things to DoorDash? Can you take your motherfucking ass home? Can you go cut some grass or something? Like, shit. Then she will, then she will be like, well, you the one that be calling me talking about something. Oh, you're not coming back. I miss you. Come back. We'll be waiting by. I don't be saying that shit for real. Nigga, you the one that be saying, don't you miss me. How about you watch your motherfucking lip, nigga? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the text. Oh, is, hey, stop, stop. Yeah, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Okay. I'm gonna knock you out. Everyone go to my store. Yo, we had three. Oh my, we about to hit 3,100 subs. Yo. I'm gonna screenshot that shit. Fuck you. We almost at 31. We're one away from 3,100 subs. Chat, I want to say I love y'all niggas. I want to say I love y'all niggas. Can you give me a sub right now? You give me the 3100 and I'll pay you back. Like, you use like your credit card or some shit. King to God, preacher the one gifted, my nigga. Can you give me one? Can you shut the fuck up? All right, you shut the fuck up. To finish my, what I was trying to say, women really do know how to manipulate the game and get you to fall in love with them. And it's always a couple of things. I'm going to tell y'all three things. One is sex. They're going to suck your meat. They're going to get you to bust all types of crazy. Two, cooking. If a woman can cook a real decent meal, not once every three months, but she cooks for you through two or three times a week or cooks you a lot, 3,100 subs, bro. Or three, cleaning. I don't think y'all understand, right? Us niggas, when we fall in love, it's from what we see from this girl. Like, think about it. Niggas can't tell me, yo girl, didn't have a little bit of leftover makeup in the morning. She didn't have her toes done. And she wasn't laying in your bed, butt ass naked with a bonnet on. You wake up before her. You go in the bathroom, take a shower, wash your face. You come in here, you see her still laid up. And you see her with her toes, her bonnet on, titties just hanging out, ass looking plump. And you kind of just stare at her like, damn, I really do love this girl. Like seeing you in just your most, without your uniform on, your outfit. And just looking at you like, Maybe it ain't bad that you moved in here. But I get mad because you didn't have to move in. Like, you really did the method on me. You came outside with five bags of luggage, knowing damn well I can't turn you around with all that. Which you got a big-ass bag of luggage. If you went through Southwest, they would think you a terrorist. This big-ass bag of luggage. How do you... You don't even have that many clothes. They would know there's a fucking nuclear bomb in that bitch. What the fuck is in this bag that you got five bags worth of it? Because all the clothes you wear is mine. So what the fuck is in this bag? You feel me? And it's like, women, they try to convince you that anything that you do in a relationship is for the betterment of your relationship. She literally said, if we move together, we're, we're going the next journey in our lives. And, you know, and I want to get married in a year. And I want to get married. And it's just, you know, for better for both of us. Nigga, we punch each other in the head every day. That shit ain't doing nothing better for me. I got bruises and shit. The side of my head hurt. We punching each other and shit. So I don't know what you mean, the betterment of our relationship. My head, my arm is hurting. Why do I have a bruise on my back? And then... You, you slurping to me, but it's like, God damn, I got to work for it. You feel me? So it's like, I don't know, bro. Shout out LeBron James. But yeah, I don't know, man. Someone said auntie is unk packing. No, but I'm smacking the auntie. Give me a big kiss. They say if a man likes pussy too much, he gay because, oh, wait. Head too much, he gay, because he can do the same thing with a man. Um, I ain't gonna lie, brother. I think that's just your personal fantasies. Don't try to push that on nobody else. If you want to go and get your meat sucked by fucking Mike Tyson, go do what you want to go do. I have to, you know what I got to realize? I have to stop bringing up niggas' names. Because I feel like I'm a little bit more known. I'm getting more known. I'm getting more known. I might link up with somebody and I might ever see Mike Tyson and then somebody showed the nigga the clip and then he knocks me the fuck out. So I got to stop saying celebrities names when I start going for clips and being funny because somebody, I might link with this person, somebody, but like, look what this nigga said about you and then the nigga knocks me out on camera. Or they were like, why you said this about me? I'm like, bro, I was just going for clips out. You know what I'm saying? And niggas won't expect me to knock the nigga back out because I'm T-Banks not talking about running 60s with Jason Voorhees and shit. You feel me? So yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, 
Let me chill.